And now let me bring in our correspondent Terence Terashima live from Tokyo to talk more about this. Well, very alarming trend, Terence. Why does Japan have one of the world's highest suicide rates? Why are so many Japanese taking their own lives? Yes, uh, well, there are a number of reasons uh, that people uh, c commit suicide from health, uh, uh, bullying in schools, which is uh, uh, quite a problem, and there's uh, uh, quite a number of that as well. Pressures from work and education. Uh, many of the young people uh, said uh, they were in education. And, uh, but what is alarming that is that uh, people are trying to digest it themselves instead of uh, conferring to uh, 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 people uh, around them but, and take suicide as an option. Age between 10 to 54, um, the suicide is the top three causes of death and Japan is losing the core population that's supporting the country or will support the country by suicide. So when you look at the detailed numbers um, uh, uh, and the social background, you can see the seriousness of the situation and uh, immediate measures are needed. In recent National Police Agency data, suicide in Japan decreased for six straight year, falling below the 25,000 mark for the first time in 18 years. On surface, it seems a positive figure for a country that long known to have one of the highest suicide rates in the world among a developed nation. But the numbers have increased among those over 70s and under 19 years old. A green news shocked the public last month. Two girls, aged 13, jumped in front of a moving train, hand in hand, leaving a message saying they had problems with human relationship. There have been a number of cases where teenagers choose to commit suicide together. Sharing the empathy and feeling of isolation drove them to make the unfortunate choice. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for age group between 10 to 14 years old. Moreover, it is the leading cause of death for persons aged 15 to 39. About half of all deaths among those aged 20 to 29 are suicides. We receive calls mainly in the evening from many young people, even from junior high school or elementary school students. That reflects how much young are troubled, and some go as far as to commit suicide. Many teenagers say they feel isolated. No one would take them seriously, but reluctant to say more from fears of being disliked. Experts say it is partially due to the cultural background. The Japanese society still lack understanding in mental health. One will be perceived weak or embarrassing to consult their problems. There is still strong prejudice for mental health. People are made to feel defeated if they go to mental clinic or see a therapist. We must improve that environment. Environment where people around you show understanding and can say it is okay to see a therapist. The change in the social environment will change the feeling for the choice they might make. Experts are calling for more awareness education in schools so that there will be more acceptance for people to consult or to be consulted without discrimination. We need to create an environment where young people can support each other, where friends can provide the social support people need, can talk as friends or help as fellow youth which then can feed the information back to the society, create a structure that can embrace the problems younger generation faces. Authorities said numbers of actions are being taken, but many experts say hurdles are still high and slow to make any immediate effects. Actions in community or personal levels are needed to save young people from making the ultimate choice. In the old days, Japanese um, uh, made, made to feel that they have to have the responsibility and maintain their, uh, their strength and, and posture. So the community, the society as, uh, as a whole has to change to adapt to this new era, that it is not shame to reveal your weakness, it is okay to confer uh, and for people to uh, spot signs of friends with troubled minds, uh, uh, if not uh, advice uh, or uh, giving advice, just listening uh, will suffice as a first step. So the whole community has to change in order to reduce this number uh, of uh, people committing suicide.
Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned in that piece, Terrence, experts are now examining the situation from a broader perspective. They tend to associate this behavior to social withdrawal and limited public understanding of mental disorders. So are there ways to help these people? Do they have somewhere to go for help? Yes, there are uh, some helplines and counselors, and of course, uh, 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 if you have a, um, uh, a problem, you can also go to doctors. But it, it is not enough, and it is not, the awareness is not enough, and also the helplines are not enough, and uh, need more that will cater for the specific environments, like volunteers or counselors that in, in schools who understand the needs of the children, in companies. Uh, for the working people, and there are also uh, uh, internet sites where you, where you can, uh, social network sites where you can ask for advice. But experts warn that you have to be careful in what kind of uh, sites you access because some uh, in, uh, in open social media, there people might criticize you openly uh, as they remain anonymous. So. Uh, and people uh, receive uh, a greater stress and healing. So uh, in, in those levels, it's a layered, various layered measures are needed uh, uh, to, uh, to, cope with this, uh, to cope with this problem in Japan. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, Terence, for that. That's our Terence Terashima live with us from Tokyo.